Hi there, my name is Sunny Apollo and I'm with my two golden retrievers, Magnum on the left and Sunny on the right. And today I'd like to talk to you about toys not to get for your new puppy. So let's go. The first toy is rawhide treats. They may be contaminated with toxic chemicals like salmonella or E. coli. And in the dog food recall in 2007, there was a number of rawhide treats that came from China that definitely had these contaminated chemicals. They are known to cause digestive problems such as diarrhea, and they can also cause choking or blockage and get stuck in the digestive tract. On some occasions, a dog has needed surgery to remove the rawhide, and if it gets blocked in their throat, it can cause death. The next toy you need to be careful about is tennis balls. Now, my love, my dogs love chasing tennis balls, but it's well known that dogs tear tennis balls to pieces, and these pieces can get lodged in their stomach or throat. So I only use tennis balls for playing fetch with them, and then I take the balls away. Now there's toys with buttons or small parts. So a lot of stuffed animals are given to dogs and there's eyes and nose and buttons and bows and all kinds of things. So usually the, the small parts come off the toys and the dogs swallow these small parts which can cause problems. It should be obvious that chicken or rib bones are not good for dogs. These can splinter and can cause digestive problems and or damage to the digestive tract or stomach. Beef hooves have been known to have dogs um, fracture their teeth while they've been chewing on them. Pig ears are something that lots of dogs chew on, but they're so greasy that they have no, been known to cause upset stomachs. Now, toys with noisemakers. Your dog wants to get that noisemaker out of the toy, so he destroys the toy and then swallows the noisemaker, and then that can cause problems. Now, I see lots of dogs with tug toys, but what a tug toy does is it teaches your dog to challenge you. You should never teach your dog to challenge your authority. And this final toy is a rawhide shoe chew toy. Imagine giving your puppy their own shoe to chew on so that they can be really good at chewing your shoes. I don't think so. Anyway, there you have it. A number of toys not to give to your brand new puppy.